to the uh, final live session of the day from Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Security Studies. Today, on the second anniversary of the solemn occasion of the Holy Artisan Incident, we are talking on the various issues of radicalization and various aspects. Right now, we are going to talk about youth radicalization, and we have the research associate from BIPS, Mr. Hassan Zubair, uh, Mr. Hassan Zubair, and we have uh, we have the drivers of youth radicalization as well as some possible recommendation from Mr. Zubair. So I'll move on to him. Thank you, Mansura, and good good afternoon, viewers. We have seen that uh, the majority of the militants who got involved in violent extremism are the members of young generation. And in the case of Holy Artisan Bakery, we have seen that uh, all the militants were in their early 20s. So questions may arise, what are the particular features that drive young generation to militancy? And what should be our strategy to address youth radicalization? Let's look into the profile of the militants. It shows that the militants come from all socio-economic backgrounds. We can no longer say that only impoverished families produce militants. Or if we look into the education medium, we see that militants come from all education medium. They come from madrasa medium, they come from English medium as well as general medium. And also our analysis has shown that militants they can get radicalized both online and offline. So, this overall findings suggest that there is no simple, single and common solution to youth radicalization. So, what should be our strategy in this regard? We need to develop a comprehensive strategy. We need to address the grievance that young generation have in their mind. Our education system should be reformed so that it can develop critical thinking and a student can develop a mindset of questioning. And finally, as the young generation are the main stakeholders of young youth radicalization, they should be heard, their voice should be raised and they should be taken into policy formulation. That's all for now. Thank you, Mansura, and thank you, viewers. Thank you, everyone, for listening to us. I hope that on this solemn occasion of the bloody massacre that had happened uh, two years back, we are having the kind of consequences that uh, we are having the kind of awareness that we are uh, having for uh, the understanding of radicalization, and I hope that all of the youth as well as female as well as every member of society are united together to fight this cause. Thank you.